Hello everyone, I hope you're all excited for the start of a new semester. My name is Christine and today I will show you how to register for your web assigned course from Brightspace. Let's get started. As you can see, we will begin this process from our courses homepage in Brightspace. From here, the first step to register is to find the link to our web assigned course. This link can be found by navigating to the content tab on the top of our screen. Once we are in our table of contents, there are a couple of things we can look for when trying to find the link to our course. First, you may notice a section in your table of contents like this one here that reads access to web assign and ebook here. Depending on how your instructor has set up your course, this link might, may look slightly different. For example, it might be titled something like the name of your course as seen here. It might be titled web assign. It might be titled access web assign here. When looking for this link, you can look for the external learning tool tag. This will let you know that by clicking this link, it will bring you to our web assigned course. Instead of a link that takes you to the home page directly, your instructor may have shared links that take you directly to specific activities. For example, we can see specific activities in our week one section in our table of contents as seen right here. These links can also be used to register for our course. So if you do not see a link that's going to bring us directly to our web assign, please look for links within your assignments. If you are having difficulty finding a link to WebAssign, please confirm with your instructor or a fellow classmate what that link is titled. Let's go ahead and continue with our registration process by clicking on the Intro to Physics link right here. Before clicking on our WebAssign link, I would like to note that pop-ups will need to be enabled on our browser to open the WebAssign window. I will show you how to do this now. Let's get started by clicking on our WebAssign link. You'll notice that in the top right-hand corner of our browser, you'll get a little red notification that reads pop-ups were blocked on this page. To enable pop-ups, we will simply click on this notification and allow pop-ups and redirects from Brightspace. You can click that now and click done. Now we can go ahead and click on our link one more time. After clicking the link to our WebAssign, a new window will open up with our Cengage login screen. If you have used WebAssign before for a different course, or if you already have an account at Cengage, you can go ahead and log in. If you have already purchased your web assigned course, please ensure that you use the same email when logging in. Or if this is your first time using web assign or taking a Cengage course, you are able to create an account using the create account button below. Today, we are going to start fresh and create a new account. So I will go ahead and click the button. We will be asked if we are a student and we will select yes. Now it will ask us for an email address. We normally recommend that you use the email address provided to you by your institution, but today I will use a demo Gmail that I've created. I'm going to click to receive important Cengage updates and information, and after I've reviewed the terms of use and privacy policy, I'm also going to click to acknowledge and agree to them, and then I'm going to go ahead and click next. Once completed, we will be sent an email verification link to the email address we've used to create our account. In order to complete our account creation, we will need to log into our email and click on the link. As you can see, I have an email from Cengage that says, Welcome to Cengage. Open up this email and go ahead and click on the link to activate your account. From here, we will be asked to, to create a password for our account. I will enter one now. Once we've set a password, a new window should open up, but we will just close this window. We can close our email window tab as well and any unnecessary windows that we've opened when creating our WebAssign account. We can go ahead back into our Brightspace course. From here, we are going to want to click on our WebAssign link one more time. Because we've already created an account, we should be able to just log in. Now that we're all logged in, we will be prompted to either purchase access to our WebAssign course or if you have already purchased access, you may enter your access code using the register and access code button here. If you still need to purchase WebAssign, you can click on the purchase options button below. If this is the case, you will be redirected to sendage.ca to purchase access to WebAssign. I would like to note that all students receive 14 days of free access to WebAssign from the start date of the course. During the free trial, you'll have an option to open your WebAssign without entering an access code. After the free trial period has ended, you will need to purchase access and enter an access code for continued access. For the purpose of this video, I have been provided with an access code to our WebAssign course, which I will enter now. Once entered, we can click register. It should take one moment for the page to load to bring us to WebAssign. 
As you can see, we have successfully registered and entered our WebAssign course. From here, you'll be able to see any assignments that your instructor has scheduled for the course, your grades once you start completing assignments, and any resources that are included with your textbook. You're also able to find your ebook above in the tab here. I hope you've all found this video very helpful and informative. I'm wishing you all the best with the upcoming semester. Thank you so much and have a nice day.